Hi, I'm Abhishek. I'm a multidisciplinary product designer with eight years of experience in designing digital tools and softwares. I'm a senior designer at Superbloom, a design thinking nonprofit that works at the intersection of digital tools, human rights, and public interest technology, with the goal of leveraging design thinking as a way of changing how technology serves. Teams, including designers, may wonder how can I tell a short and crisp story about the impact and effectiveness of my platform to stakeholders, decision makers. or funders who may not have the time for long-winded uh, stories and anecdotal evidences about the usability uh, you may also want to make crucial decisions about using the same interface or changing the user experience before um, feature updates or big releases usability indicator can also help you strategize to make your uh, user experience a contributing factor to a growing community and there is no single metric that can tell you about the platform usability so you may want to learn about it from a few perspectives and different metrics uh system level metrics tell you about the overall platform while feature level metric tell you about the usability of a specific feature let's go into each one by one system usability score is essentially an indicator of the overall usability of the system this is conducted via a survey of 10 standard questions or statements which your users will respond to on a 5 point scale of strongly agree to strongly disagree a uh, user satisfaction score is an indication of how satisfied your users are with the software this is collected through a survey on um through a survey on a scale of 1 to 5 from strongly disagree to strongly agree net promoter score is an indication of how likely the user are to recommend your platform to others this is collected again through a survey on a scale of 1 to 10 from not at all likely to extremely likely to recommend a user privacy and security score this is collected through a user survey providing eight statements that the users answer on a 5 point scale from strongly agree to strongly disagree as you can note that these uh, indicators are based on user perspectives and um user feedback however feature level metrics are a lot based on uh users using the platform so user effort score is an indication of the amount of effort a user had to exert to use the feature uh the score is collected through a user survey or a usability testing asking how easy was it for you to perform the action um it's best uh, implemented just after the user has used the feature task success rate is an indication of how successfully users can perform tasks on the platform um the score is collected through usability testing users are scored upon completion of the tasks task success rate for each feature is a percentage of users who are able to complete the task or use the feature successfully efficiency is an indication of how long it takes a user to complete a specific task and the score is collected through usability testing Uh, the tester basically measures the time that the user took to complete the feature you can also build upon this structure to uh, measure other human rights centered metrics such as accessibility privacy diversity or inclusion uh, so when to measure it is a good indicator to have on your product dashboard at all times so you know that usability is not a leading cause for low user adoption which means that you may set up a system in place that helps you measure and record usability at all times however there are some key moments in the product journey when you may want to measure usability such as when you're planning a big feature change uh, or launching new features on the platform for example uh, you're planning to add a bunch of security features to the platform uh, to enhance its security capabilities um now not knowing the existing state of the platform usability uh, you may run into a risk of adding more debt to an already less usable system um you can measure a uh, system level usability in a period of once per quarter uh, while feature level metrics might get measured after launching that feature or a connected feature for example you may test login and sign up and then again when you add two factor authentication because 
to factor authentication might affect the login workflow uh, these measurements are basically conducted uh, based on user research using surveys and rounds of usability testing with users uh, one of the challenges with using usability testing tools is that it is not easy to plug in with open source software that are self hosted such tools are only possible for centrally hosted solutions and many open source softwares are stripped of any trackers or to maintain the security and privacy of its users and so we relied on creating an excel based tracker that is only accessible to our team of researchers uh some challenges and word of caution uh as with any research you want to make sure that you're collecting a diverse set of feedback from various types of users to not make it biased to a certain type of user make sure you have enough users to test it with uh at least 7 to 10 uh users else you may find that the data is not very conclusive or uh, to prove the platform usability but you also don't need to uh test it with thousands of users the measurements or indicators by themselves do not offer uh, insights to improve the user experience so you should also generate insights during those testing sessions with the users a uh, user security score shouldn't be taken at face value because this is what users think and hence you should also conduct technical third party um, security audits thank you this was a quick overview of measuring usability in civic tech This is not a conclusive or comprehensive um, method and measurement techniques. You may want to adapt uh, different methods or metrics depending on uh, the context of your users and your platform. Uh, for more discussion, question, or comments, please feel free, feel free to reach out to us. <laughs>